Can they fix this? This is a mishap in manufacturing, in my opinion. Okay, what do we do with this? It's RV inspection day, and today we are in Dover, Florida, about to inspect this Cougar 260 MLE. Now stick around. We don't know what we're gonna find. I have been inside and I see something kind of interesting in there. Can't wait to tell you about it. So stick around. We'll update you at lunch and the end of the day. All right, first glimpse. Undercover on this special day. It's supposed to get dark around two. I know what we're gonna do. <laughs> I'm kidding. We'll see what we're gonna do. But yes, today is an eclipse. Once a couple of times in our lifetime, whatever experience you had with that, where were you? It'd be cool to let us know where you were at that day. So you kind of know what we're doing today. So far, first glimpse, this looks beautiful. I'm actually impressed. I already saw a problem. It's not a problem. It's just me looking at it. But through the wall right here, I can see that something in the back's been protruding, so they screwed, hey, it didn't break the fiberglass, so can't say nothing. I'm just saying, details, attention. I wanna bring this topic, I know it's the big elephant in the room, because you always think, okay, how much is an inspection? How can I justify this? You know, it'll be, I don't know, between 1,000 to 1,500, to, depending on the size of the rig, but let's say that's your average that it's gonna cost you for the inspection plus your travel fees. So explain to me, why you have problems justifying the cost of an inspection that actually is for you, working for you, for your intent, for your safety, for your security, for your, I, I, I want to know what I don't know. That's the advantage of having an inspection. Let me put it this way. You sign those papers for this unit at $40,000, $80,000, $120,000, you pay, let's say, an average of 6% of taxes. Oh, but that, you don't even look at that. But that 6% out of 40,000 is 2,400 bucks. Out of 80,000 is, what, 4,800 bucks. But you don't have a problem paying those taxes. But you got a problem paying an inspection that costs you about 12, 1,500 bucks. So that's my point. I hope that financially you can justify and understand that this is a minimal cost to protect your ass sets, both of them. Just saying. Now we're gonna go to work and let's see what lunchtime's gonna bring us. So come on in, let's see my first glimpse and my stow and go. But my stow and go, I'm gonna tell you right now, slide is in and I will say, this already is my favorite stow and go of all fifth wheels and travel trailers. I can get to my sink, which is really cool back here. I can almost get to my stove, absolutely full fridge and my recliners and TV. I can even come up here, go to the bathroom, go to the bedroom, I can get in bed. You know what? This mattress isn't, isn't half bad. I'm kind of surprised actually, not bad at all. Usually it's the first thing people like to upgrade. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. I don't know, but this stow and go is top notch in my opinion. We'll see you at lunchtime. Lunchtime recap. As we're going around this unit, which is Keystone Cougar, phenomenal. We even called a customer just because we're saying, okay, this is a nice unit at this level. This is beautiful, flawless, almost, uh, I got nothing out there. A couple of things, things they can fix that, yeah, you might've missed. This is my slide out. So I'm coming back in to check my slide out, how it seals and, and you know, rest on the bulb seal. So the bulb seal on this wall, you got a bulb seal. You've seen that in your RV. So there's a bulb seal. They stick to the wall. This will actually, this frame comes and seal on it. So you got a seal from your box to the outside. The way this is built, manufactured, this bulb seal is about this far away from the front end. So basically, this whole room in there, as you can tell, it's not touching. It's not doing what it's supposed to do. Can they fix this? 
they'd have to put a shim behind the bulb seal to bring it to the frame of the slide out. That's not how it came. This is a mishap in manufacturing, in my opinion. But my opinion doesn't matter. What I find is this not touching. So that's what I got to state and that's what I brought up. Then you're going to have the guys inside going, okay, what do we do with this? Uh, they send it like this. So that's going to be interesting to see how that turns. But let me check my crystal ball. Nothing's going to happen. Customer's going to leave with it and it's going to be like this. But we'll see. Maybe I'm totally wrong. All right, so now let's go outside. So here's your grill. So l let me be cheap because I can't put too much hose on there because it might cost me 16 cents more at the end of a camper. So then I got a hose that I got to go plug in there. This irritating thing that whoever put that here and he knows he crimped it. He put those wire cable holder. Why did you give that curve if you knew it was going to be too short? Well, because my manufacturer or my plant manager gave me 16 inches. And, oh, geez, it's too late. I already screwed those on. So, ah, dealer will figure it out. Detail. But it's working. I was able to stretch it a little bit, put it in there, and it did work. The only thing that I have left, I got to go show you. It's ridiculous. This is really nice. Let's go in the front. See, when I come in, I turn all my lights on to see if they're on, if they're going to last for a while. So, at one point, I'm in the back of the camper, and I hear, get the thing, something's falling. Well, when it gets hot, this cover just falls on the ground. Big deal. I know you can glue this, but that's about the only thing that I found. So it barely stays there anyway. So other than that, my slide out, everything was good. Everything is to a T. It's like, oh, okay. It was built a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, so another March construction and we're in April. Hmm, I guess some people are getting laid off. So I guess the people that are working on these lines are starting to be careful and take their time because they're not gonna be paid more because they are no longer paid with volume. If they hurry up to do rigs outside the door, they'll probably get fired quicker. I think it is starting to change a little bit, but hey, the future will tell us. Now let's go check what Lowell has inside. So it's lunchtime, and I'm really happy about today. What Pierre is showing you right now is a little bit of trim that is not attached to the ceiling. Okay, so minor issues, right? Nothing really to tell you about, for real. This Cougar is spotless. It's not spotless. No, the, the floors are a little filthy, but we're not finding anything. So for lack of better word, it is phenomenal. We're both really happy about what we're finding so far, which is like nothing. I have one little spot on a door on the side of it that could use a little bit of paint. I'm telling you it's so little, it's like the prick of your pencil. So it's very minor. That door, it's not a major issue, right? It's just something little. The other thing is that Inside the refrigerator and the freezer, and yes, it's on, the lights do not work. Well, I don't know why, but that's just something they're going to have to check into. Other than that, I really don't have anything, but you know, I'm saving my water. So we'll see what the water ends up doing for us this afternoon during the solar eclipse. Where are you? Let us know in the comments below. Where are you during the eclipse? We are in Dover, Florida, and we're underneath cover. I'm not gonna let Pierre stay outside. He's coming in during the eclipse, because I know him. He's gonna try to look at the sun, you know, like a kid. If you're new to our channel, give us a thumbs up. If you like our channel, give us a thumbs up, and make sure you leave us a comment. If you don't know what to comment, just put C4BL, comment for Blue Walks. See you at the end of the day. End of a beautiful day recap. No, it's actually amber. So the light is actually going down. Eclipse, they say? No, 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 it's not an eclipse, it's a cougar. And when Laurel was talking about cougar earlier, she wasn't talking about herself. She was talking about the RV. For people who have twisted mind, I can see that coming. The things we don't tell you that we do as well. Keystone, thumbs up, big time. 
For instance, this panel, I actually take it apart and I check every connection on there because it is sometime a problem. So as I'll show you inside the front compartment where the battery are, those are things that sometimes when they put them together, they forget. So that's the point where we do what we do. For instance, this panel, this whole panel gives you access to the under basement where the pipes are, the converter, the electrical, the water, the water heater. We go behind all of this stuff to make sure that it's not leaking. And I got to give kudos to Laurel just to show you how we don't show you what she seeks for inside, but she'll go behind the cupboard, she'll go behind the drawers. She finds stuff that somebody would have not thought about. For example, this pipe here. This pipe that I have, that goes right back up into, this one goes in the cabinet. So Laurel saw that from the inside, she told me, she says, come here, I'm seeing outside. Well, you're seeing down the basement. It's a detail, but it's a detail that we want to see and find. So here's one thing I forgot to show you this morning. For example, these connections, you can see this is totally loose. So you can see somebody put the nut on there and totally forgot to do what it was supposed to do. All right, well, you'd leave and then you'd end up pushing on the button and it would be, oh, it's not listening, what's going on? Bad contact, we'll do this. Those are things you can look at to try to seek and find if there is a problem. That's what we try to do. That's what I try to seek for every plug and they need to slide out the same thing. Tools we don't talk to you about. For example, this one is cool because those we don't always have time to show you tools and sometimes we get a lot going on so we don't think of this. But for example, here's a tool that I use. So this is my typical cobalt, you know, flashlight that I use all the time. You've seen this on our videos before. So now I got this box. This is my remote light tester. So I plug my RV in here and I go play with this. So let's go in the back just to show you. So things we don't talk about, we don't show you, or some people will say, well, I got this gizmo and I got this gizmo. Okay, Bruce makes those. You know Bruce, he's endorsed by Blue Ox. We'll link the video above. Funny clown, we get along good, but he's also one of them that can help you out, just saying. So this is something that he did that he came up with. And I appreciate that, it helps a lot. And instead of trying to figure out 2200 ways to figure out how the light works, well, this is kind of a remote. So just to give you an example, say I want to have the trailer lights. So now I got the trailer lights. See, and I'm here in the back. I want to do the right turn. So I do the right turn. I can blink the right turn. I can blink the left turn. That is cool, isn't it? Then I can check my backup light. So now all is working. Aren't you happy? Well, we all didn't see the tail light. So here you go. So from this all the way around, we can look at the camper from everywhere, every light, make sure that it's logged in. We put it on video and we deliver that to the customer. So that's another little thing that I wanted to show you. Some of the tools that we use, those are ours. So if ever you're interested in having one of those, eh, you know, we'll reach out. Everything underneath was A-OK, -okay, A1. There's only one thing that I know with this. This unit should have come with Goodyear tires. They slip Rainier on there, Rainier, wherever they come from. I know that's gonna be a discussion, I'm sure, with the dealership. Just a detail, but those are little things that you gotta look at when you think you ordered this and you find this and you don't get delivered this. Those are the point we try to bring back, log in and make you aware of this is what is on it. We're not there to claim for you that they need to come with Goodyear. But I'm sure you did your research, you know where you're going, and it's going to be, yeah, okay, I need to have this change because that's what it was supposed to come with. Or negotiate a price where you don't have to pay for this upgrade that should have come with this. Just saying, common sense. Everything underneath was perfect, frame, axle. I'm going to be the devil's advocate. You know I am, I'm critical of everything. We had the slide out issue in here, the seal not touching, that's manufacturing. Then on the suspension side, I've got the equalizer coming from Lippert. No wet bolt anywhere. Not a one. Every one of them a regular thread bolt. No lube, just sand. So those are little things of quality that you can see from one brand to the other. 
and just make sure that if it came with it again make sure that in your description that literature that they give you that says that it comes with this 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 and this if that's not what's coming with it stand up for yourself this is what you were purchasing it came with a radio oh no it's an option all of a sudden I'm just saying now I'm pretty much done with today before we get blinded and I had to turn the light to go back home let's go check what Lowell has inside so it's the end of the day and it is a fabulous eclipse day there is something I've got to say about this RV I'm impressed honestly I'm impressed I did have one little thing this afternoon the shower leak yes the shower did leak speaking of the shower let's go check out this so come up here if you're six foot four and less you're gonna fit in this shower just fine 76 inches and lower and you're gonna be fine in this shower so you know how people always say oh that person thinks the glass is half full or the glass is half empty you know they're missing the point the glass is refillable so refill your glass get out there and explore so remember and do never forget it's not about the destination it's all about the journey <laughs> It's RV inspection day and today we're in Dover, Tampa. Dover, Tampa? We're in Dover, Tampa. <laughs> Let's start that again. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs>